Hey everybody, this is my 55 gallon Garami tank and tonight I'm going to get in there and do a water change. We're just going to do a simple before and after video. I don't really have a lot going on in this tank. The only thing I really want to do is get in there and trim up the red tiger lotus. I've got a few of the leaves have made it to the surface and some of the leaves are really uh, just, they're just, they're too big. They're blocking the flow of water they're blocking light everywhere you can see I've got that one in the back that the current has sort of drawn it to the back uh, that one can be removed you know a couple of these really large ones right here can be removed and then these that are you know floating on the surface or whatnot all the way down here can be removed I may do some work on the filter while I'm in there tonight. It probably needs it. I don't remember the last time I got in there and worked on the filter. And usually when I start getting that little voice at the back of my head kind of reminded me that I don't really remember when the last time I did the filter was. It's probably about time to do it. Uh, it is getting kind of late though, so it wouldn't be the end of the world if I just went ahead and did a water change real quickly. And then got the tank back up and running. Uh, so we'll see. I can always do the filter change while the tank is draining. You know, it's not like I can make it go faster by not doing the water change or not doing the filter. Uh, at any rate, I'm going to get started on it. Again, this is just going to be a simple before and after. If anything uh, really particularly interesting comes up while I'm working on the filter, maybe we'll get some video of that. Uh, but otherwise, this is going to be your before. And there's your after. So as usual, pulling a bunch of tannins out of the water like that really brightens the tank up and opens it up. Of course, I also removed all of that tiger lotus from the right-hand side as I was talking about, and that really lets a lot of light in. I wound up removing quite a bit of water sprite from the left. And then one of the most significant things I did that I don't normally do, because, you know, removing the water sprite and the um, leaves on the uh, red tiger lotus is fairly routine, Digging at this fern up here is not. And I removed the entire chunk of it. It was huge. I wound up just sticking a little bit of it back in. But if you look, now we can see them. See those two pieces like down there by themselves? Those were actually growing out of a crack in the wood. So when I ripped the whole mass off, some of that is still actually rooted to and growing off of the tree. So I could actually remove that chunk right there altogether and just wait. And in time, I'll have a bunch of java fern growing off the tip of that piece of wood again. In the meantime, I'm just going to stick that piece back on there and let it fill back in. So as a reminder, don't forget, I do have java fern for sale now. I've got a lot of it. And I've got a lot of the water sprite for sale too. So check my email in the description below. And that's really all I did. I just wiped the glass down here a moment ago before shooting the video. I wiped the front, you know, the outside of the glass down uh, just for the follow-up portion of the video here. But I did not get in and wipe down any of the glass on the inside. I did do a water, I mean, a filter change, but not really much to talk about in there. It was just basically going in and doing a simple filter change while I was in there. It's got the Sun Sun canister filter, so again, nothing really to talk about there. I would have made mention of it in the video. So there you go, that was a simple before and after on my Garami tank. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe, you don't want to miss anything I got coming up. I'll see you real soon in the next one.